Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cheerboy and welcome back to Sakura Sluggedness Fam. We are back to the Sakuraly Sluggedly game. And before we get right back into it fam, I just want to address a couple of things first. I'm sorry for being gone for so long. I haven't uploaded gameplay in forever. I'm so sorry. But I hope you guys enjoyed that silly video I uploaded yesterday. Or the day before now. Yeah. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And uh, a couple of things that are going to be, uh, you might have noticed. Yes, I have once, for one, I got a haircut. Indeed, yes. Very small haircut that now my hair in the front is now a little bit shorter so it doesn't go into my face. Eyes, that much. Nose, that kind of thing. Another thing is that my nose over there is brighter. That's because I got a new light, everybody. Yes, we are, have now have three lights. Yes, we are getting it. And one other thing to mention is that uh, the audio might be different for this episode because I'm, I'm using both my normal microphone and a new microphone that uh, should maybe have better audio. I don't know. That's why I'm testing out both. And the uh, final thing to mention is that my chair is now fixed. My mama fixed it. No, it's not. No, it's not uh, coming apart at the seams. So yes, that's very good. Now back to the game. So sorry for that, everybody. Let us get right back into it. Somebody's pressing their body against me. But who? I look down, bemused by the audacity of this mysterious person, and it is indeed the waiver. The waiver. The waiver. Got a CG already, everybody. Nice. Oh, very nice. Yes. Yeah, okay. Just in a public train. Everything's a okay. And my befuddlement soon morphs into full-blown disbelief. Indeed it is. You're that pervert from yesterday! You're that cutie from yesterday! Oh, choices. Oh, the many choices. Let us save real quick, yes. Let us save right here, yes. That'll help us out. You're that pervert from yesterday. You're that cutie from yesterday. We'll play cool. Yeah. Huh? The girl inclines her head. Do you really think I'm cute? You're incredibly cute. But that's beside the point. This really is a surprise. Fancy seeing you here. Ah, yes. I recognize it. I recognize this girl, or to be more precise, I recognize her body! I never got to see her face during our last encounter. The curve of her spine was pressed against my chest, her derriere resting, resting snugly against me. I'm quite intimately acquainted with that behind hers, but her face was something of a mystery! Now I can finally see what she really looks like. I can say with certainty that she's just as adorable as I anticipated! Her eyes are a soft amber hue lined with long, luxurious lashes. Her nose is a small, cute button, and her lips are faintly shiny with gloss. Her hair is lilac, but it fades to an icy blue about the tips. It's cut in a rough kind of bob, and part of it's tied back in a stubby ponytail. Yes, ponytail! Atop her head is peached a pair of cat ears. That only very practical. I'm not sure what purpose they serve, really, beyond it. <laughs> I'm not sure what purpose they serve, really, beyond an aesthetic one. And then again, a lot of women wear high heels, Marina included, and I'm not sure what practical purpose they serve, either. Can't they damage women's feet? Nani? Plus, those sharp spikes can get stuck in gutters. Ah, uh, yes, the manholes, not my handles, uh, super covers, yeah. This girl's choice of headwear might be impractical, but she's wearing a sturdy pair of sneakers on her feet. A pink jacket and those very, very short shirts serve to complete the look. Indeed they do. I think she might be younger than I am, but only by a handful of years. She's most likely in her 20s. Or early 20s, yeah, early 20s? Yeah, early 20s. Though if she really is a succubus, her age might not scale like that of a normal human's. For all I, for all I know, she could be centuries old! Indeed she could be. Would a 500-year-old would a wear a pair of cat ears, though? The jury's still out on that one. Indeed, what could it possibly be? Your, na your name's Cosmos, right? Right. Cosmos affirms this with a lethargic nod of her head. Right. There's something a little off about this girl, actually. And no, I'm not just referring to the cat ears. Her movements all seem a little second or so delayed. Oh no, she's lagging behind! And then, and then there's the fact that she's pushing herself against me in the middle of a crowded train. Doesn't this girl understand the concept of personal space? How do you know my name? Marina told me. She explained who you are yesterday. You're a succubus, right? That's right. Cosmos nods once more, her stubby ponytail bouncing. Ah, yes, the bouncing. It's not the only part of her anatomy that bounces either, but I try not to stare too plainly. I'm sorry! So you know everything Marina told you? Yeah, she did. Oh, good. Cosmos smiles. That makes us easier. I don't like explaining things. You're an act first, ask questions later kind of girl. I don't like asking. It's awkward. Talking with people is difficult for me, but I want to try and make an effort with you. It okay? Cosmo pushes her chest even more firmly against my body! I know we're still strangers, but I like you a lot. I want you. Okay! Me? Yes, I talked about you, Marina, too. They said you smell good. They're not wrong. Cosmo inhales deeply. Her nostrils quivering. <laughs> Here, addictive, sweet like candy. Okay, CJ fam. Woo! Nice. Moved on. Marina is picky. Her taste is discerning. If she likes you, you must be special. You must be special. Indeed, I am. Timing. 
I like you too, so let's go. The train begins to slow as it pulls into the next station. It's not the station I want to get off at, but Cosmos doesn't seem to care about little details like that. She grabs hold of my hand, her fingers her fingers winding with mine. Her hand is very small and mine dwarfs her. I have a very, very manly, manly hand. She's small and pixie-like, but she's incredibly insistent. Hey, Cosmos, wait! I try to pull away from her, but she does not listen. She doesn't listen. No, she doesn't. The train's automatic doors open with a hiss. And Cosmos drags me forward, buoyed by numerous friends. that. Boyed by numerous passengers, who are all who are all struggling to get off the train. I find myself pushed forth. I feel like a fish trying to swim up river. The current, or in this case, Cosmo's tiny hand, is far too strong. Succubus strength. I'm being swept away. What do you want with me? Where are we going? Cosmo glances at me over her shoulder. Her umber hair fluttering. She smiles and says sweetly, "On a date." Okay, on a date. Okay, sure. Why not? Yeah, let's go on a date. Let's get girl. I don't think we got this last time. Or last time we were with her. Some date this is. I huff my arms full of it. <sighs> my long legs furled up beneath the table that's a little too small for me. Indeed it is. CG! Kinda sort of. Eh, it's something. Drag me off the train with just the first step in Cosmo's diabolical plan. I barely had a chance to gather my breath when her fingers tightened about my palm once more, her eyes shining with excitement. And we are. What are we doing? Yeah. We're going on a date, Hidoki. You need to hurry. A date? But where? What are you. And so, just like that, I found myself here! Where? Where's my fun? A maid cafe? Most likely, yes. Cosmos hauled me all the way to this maid cafe. It's quite a cute cafe, with white tables and pink walls. Pots of flowers bloom on almost every available surface, and the smell of cinnamon and hot chocolate lingers in the air. Waitresses bustle, bustle past, their black flats splattering against the wooden floor. They greet customers with cheery cries of, Welcome, master! Welcome, mistress! Their frilly dresses fluttering around their thighs, indeed. Welcome, master! Welcome, mistress! Welcome, master! Welcome, mistress! Some of the waitresses are carrying notepads, ready to jot down orders, while others are holding trays laden with slices of apple pie, strawberry sundaes, and fruity milkshakes. Yeah. Cute J-pop music dances in the air, mingling with the chiming of the bell over the door and the chatter of the patrons, yes. I don't know any J-pop songs off the top of my head, but, uh... Pon Pon, now she did, I forgot the rest of the lyrics. That's about <laughs> what I can think of, Pon Pon Pon. I think I recognize this song. I think I recognize this song, actually. Isn't it one of Ayu's? This cafe isn't a bad place to go on a date, I guess. There are a few couples here, other than Cosmos and I, who are acting all lovey-dovey, feeding one another bites of cake and holding hands over the tabletop. <gasps> so romantic! If Cosmos was my girlfriend, I'd feel right at home. But she's not. Yeah, shut that down. <laughs> but Cosmos isn't my girlfriend. No, she's not. In fact, I hardly know her! Things are progressing way too fast. I can't run my head around all of this. Come on, dude. You did the dirty deed in the middle of the train. Come on. <laughs> okay, you. When you said you want to go on a date, were you being serious? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just mm, you can't you can't deal with this guy. Just, geez, Hiroki. What? 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 I just zoom in. I guess we're supposed to. Oh, I guess it. Are you being serious? Mm. What are you seeing me anyway? Are you trying to get one over on Marina? Mm. Are you actually interested me? Are you actually interested in me, or is this some kind of joke? Some sort of joke? Yeah. Yeah. What sort of name is Cosmos anyway? It doesn't sound very Japanese. Jeez, mm. Rocky, shut up. Then again, you are a succubus. I guess it makes sense that your name isn't Japanese. Why do Ayu and Marina have Japanese names then? Are they their real names, or did they make them up when they came to Earth? Maybe their succubus moms had relationships with Japanese men, and that's how they ended up like that? Uh, how long have you been on Earth anyway? And is there some sort of succubus realm out there? Were you guys living without humans? <laughs> Cosmos remains irritatingly unresponsive. Irritatingly unresponsive. I've asked her a dozen questions since our smiling waitress has showed us to our seats, and she hasn't said so much as a single syllable! Is she trying to make me feel uncomfortable? Maybe she's a sadist just like Marina! Let her talk, you fool! Hey, Cosmos! I slam my palm against the table, hoping for some kind of response! Why'd you bring me all the way out here if you're not gonna talk? What are you doing anyway? Ow! Cosmos blanks. <laughs> she sits her phone down, then looks at me beneath her eyelashes. Sorry, Hiroki, I was doing something important. It didn't look like you were doing anything all that important to me! For the last five minutes, Cosmo has been busy snapping pictures of her ice cream sundae. Which a, which a kind witch has already brought over. She must have taken hundreds of pictures of the frozen tree from all sorts of angles. Her, her tongue stuck out of her mouth all the while. I mean, 
Her dedication to the art of photography is kind of impressive. As a photographer myself, I want to commend her for her meticulousness. Indeed, but another bigger part of me feels incredibly exasperate, exasperated. Thanks to the invention of camera phones, millions of people across the globe fancy themselves as pro photographers. You see people like Cosmos everywhere taking snapshots of every aspect of their lives so they can upload them to social media. For some reason, people seem particularly fascinated with taking food pics. I wonder why that is. Maybe because the food looks so good? I don't know. Never really got the gist of it myself. Maybe it's because everyone, no matter their age, gender, or personality, has to eat. I guess so, yes. It's easy to farm like it's easy to farm likes by uploading pics of like wait what? Oh, it's easy to farm likes by uploading pics of food, particularly cute food like Cosmos' Sunday. And dude, that does look good. I'll admit her Sunday does look good. Can I have some please? But I don't think there's anything that special about it. Try being a real photographer and see how difficult it is then! Hey, you whipper snappers! I'm a boomer photographer. <laughs> this is important. Very. Cosmos returns my grumpy scowl with a small, serious nod. I need to take photos. I'll upload the best of Rapid Pound. A rapid Pound? That social media site? That, most, that social media site with the questionable name? That's right. Another nod. Huh. You might not know this, but I'm a, li I'm a little bit of... Ah. You might not know this, but I'm a little bit famous on Rapid Pound. I need to upload at least five photos a day, or I'll let my fans down. Define a little bit famous. I have three million followers. Cosmos replies in such a simple, matter-of-fact tone, it makes me t it takes me a few moments to process the full weight of her words. <laughs> when the penny finally drops, however, I find myself gulping. <laughs> five million! That's right. I've only had a rapid pound account. I've only had a rapid pound account for a few months, but I've become quite well known. I'll, s I'll say that's something of an understatement. It is. It is. Yes. A lot of famous actors and singers have less followers than that. I don't keep at least. I don't keep abreast of social media trends. I'm too old and irrelevant to worry about online clout. But I'm not completely clueless. I've been. I have been on rapid pound before, and I have a few ballpark figures to work with. Uh, let me see, uh, I take my own phone from my pocket, then search through Rapid Pound. I pull up a I use profile and scan through it. I use one of Japan's most popular. I use one of Japan's most popular idols, and she doesn't even have one million followers! She only has 700,000! Oh, yes, I heard about that. I was very angry, she said. Cosmos clears her throat, then logs into an eerily accurate impression of Iku Ayu's shrill tones. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> Why do you have more followers than me? You don't have any special talent, and I'm way cuter than you are! <laughs> All you do is upload half-naked photos and cheap crappy cosplay and pictures of food! Thousands of girls do that, so why are you so popular? IS THAT FAIR?! <laughs> uh, Cosmo's impression of I might be a little too spot on. Actually, I whine after clap my hands all over my ears to blunt the worst of it. Yeah, you should all do the same, too. Uh, his voice is quite powerful, isn't it? He really is. She has strong lungs. Nobody can shout louder than her. I don't know about that. You gave her a run for her money there. You think so? Thank you. I don't have any special talents, but I'm good at impressions. I'm good at taking photos, too. My fans will be waiting for me to upload a new photo. I can't let them down. So saying, Cosmos begins to take a few more photos of her ice cream sundae. At this point, it's starting to belt, but that doesn't deter her. She focuses on dessert with laser-like precision, her nose scratched in concentration. Her finger tapping on her taps on her phones dozens of times each second, and the flash sputters accordingly! Yeah. I watched Cosmos, I watched Cosmos leaning back in my chair. I thought she was a silly, frivolous girl, like the high school students back on the train. But maybe I was mistaken. Ah, oh, yes, this old boomer. For an influencer, she's a surprisingly hard worker, hard working. Now I wonder. Hey, Cosmos, what's your rabbit pound name? Why, why, do you want to look me up? I'm curious, yeah. I want to see what sort of stuff you've been posting. So you're interested in me. <laughs> Cosmos giggles, her cheeks turning pit, turn pale pink with pleasure. Is she really that happy that I'm taking an interest in her? I'm Cosmos Flower, but you can, but you probably shouldn't check my profile in public. Some of my photos are pretty... Ah! Lewd. Um... Cosmos blinks at me, suddenly shy. Are you looking at my profile, Hiroki? I nod my head stiffly, fingers gripping my phone like claws. My face is hot, I feel like a furnace! I know I should click away from Cosmos' profile, but I can't! My whole body's frozen up! Cosmos wasn't joking when she said her photos were lewd! The images on her feet are incredibly revealing! This one photo of her dress in a lewd bunny girl outfit, a bottle of alcohol lost between her brows! There's another photo of her wearing a micro bikini! So she relieves show so she relieves very little to the imagination! And then most bafflingly of all, there's a photo of her reclining in a bathtub, playing with what appears to be a live squid! Okay. But what sort of photos are these? The, this menagerie of hypersensual images are interspaced with shots of the sunset, slices of cake, cups of tea, and various other aesthetic things! But the majority of these photos are one war wardrobe malfunction away from full blown pornography! Ah the humanity! Is stuff like this even allowed on Rapid Pound? Isn't it a violation of their terms and service? 
I use that too. She keeps trying to flag my account, but it doesn't work. I'm not showing anything to loot, so it's fine. That's what the people at Rapper Pound say. Maybe not, but you're on pretty thin ice. I stare at Cosmos' photos. I did. I stare at Cosmos' photos, dazed. I can see Cosmos' bust, repressed, and her smooth self belly. There's so much for him starting to overheat. Oh god! I need to start to overheat. I need a fan. Ah! Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm good. With trembling hands, I navigate away from Cosmos' far too tempting profile. Then I slot my phone back into my pocket. Here we go. Do you really not mind posting photos like that for the world to see? No. Why should I? I have a nice body. I'm not ashamed. I'm not. No. I have a nice body. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. And besides, it makes people happy. I like making people happy. I'm not doing anything wrong, am I? You don't think I'm dirty, do you, Hiroki? I don't think you're dirty, but it is sketchy. No, I don't think you're dirty. That's an interesting choice of options. Jeez. Let's say if you're only it's been only been about 16 minutes. Okay. Hmm. Interesting choices. I don't think you're dirty, but it is sketchy. No, I don't think you're dirty. We'll go with this. It's sketchy. <laughs> I don't think it's dirty, but it is a little off. You're an adult, so I can't tell you what to do, but I don't think I would want any daughter of mine making a living like this. Mm -hmm. No daughter of mine should be doing this. Not that I have any children. I'm not sure I follow. Am I really doing something bad? I haven't murdered anybody. My photos make people happy. How is it off? I guess there's nothing really wrong with it. These might be my own prejudices, but... Well, whatever. It's your life. I have no right telling you how to... Uh, no. I have no right telling you how best to live it. And you did the thing on the train. Don't forget that, Hiroki. Okay, thank you, Hiroki. I'm glad you're not too gen I'm glad I'm glad you're not too judgmental. I have a few fans. Three million followers is definitely more than a few, provided they're not all bots. Doesn't this girl realize how famous she is? Either she's very humble or she's a total ditz. Given her slow, sleepy, sleepy way of talking, I'm personally leaning towards the latter. Wait, time I get. But some people hate me too. I get nasty comments. People call me mean things. They think it's bad to show my body to people. But I don't think so. I'm happy you don't agree with them, Hiroki. I knew you were a nice man! Nah, there's nothing special about me, really. But there is! But there is! Cosmo looks at me determinedly, her voice shredding some of its sleepy monotonous qualities. I knew, you were, I knew you were special when Marina started talking about you. My big sis- No. <laughs> My big sis has high standards and good taste. I was certain you'd be kind and gentle, and, you're n and you've not betrayed my expectations. I really do like you, that's why I have to thank you. Here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm everyone say this! I mean, I'm everybody say G! That's <laughs> Very nice. CG, everybody. Very good, very good. The date with the waifu are you? Not in there, not in there, Cosmos! <laughs> Cosmos scoops up... Cosmos scoops up a bit of ice cream on her spoon, then pre-offers pre -offers it to me, then offers it to me, yeah. I look at her flatly, my brow furrowed. <sighs> What's that for? It's for you. I'm gonna say ah. Uh, it's for you. I want you to say ah. Oh no, it's fine. I'm okay. I showed her a few Cosmos' offer, kind though it is, by waving one hand before my face. You can't see me. I'm not a big fan of sweets. You eat it for you eat it for yourself. You've been looking forward to you've been looking forward to that, haven't you? That is true. I like ice cream a lot, and cake, and flan, and tarts, and pie. I love sweets, but I do. But I love sweet humans too. And you're one of the nicest I have ever met. Won't you let me feed you, darling? If you don't, I'll be sad. I mean, you are my boyfriend. And when did you decide that, exactly? Yesterday, when we were on the train. That was the first time I'd ever been so close to a man. Uh, huh? Really? Nani? Uh, well, what? Oh, yeah, what? 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 Nani? Really? You just do that? Huh? Just because I smell good? Take notes. <laughs> no, 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 take notes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yes, really, is that, uh, yeah, yes, really, is that hard to believe? It is a little, I mean, uh, I thought you were a succubus. I am a succubus, but I'm not like my sisters. I can't sing and dance like Ayu can, and I don't have Marina's business sense. I'm not athletic, and I'm not good at acting, and I don't have any motivation. Princess Yui told me I was the disgrace of a succubus. She said I never amount to anything. I thought she was right. But then I discovered social media, and a new world opened up before me! A lot of people seem to like my content. I don't really know why, but I'm very grateful. Their love and support gives me strength. I don't want to let them down. I, I complains a lot, and Marina doesn't understand my success. Among a succubus, uh, among a succubi, I'm a total... Uh, 
among us succubi, I'm a total weirdo. And I'm socially awkward. I find it hard to talk to people face to face or tell them what I want. Most people are kind of scary. I had never been in a real relationship before. I could only communicate through a screen. And that's what I thought, at least. But then I met you. I fell for you the moment we met. That's why I wanted to be close to you. I want to give you everything. My sisters might love you, but I love you too. I'm a failure for succubus, but I still want you to be my boyfriend. Won't you say yes, please? That would make me incredibly happy. Ah, oh, jeez! Oh, God! Cosmos looks and sounds so earnest. I'd feel cruel to turn her down now! I might be in a relationship of sorts with Marina, but she's not really my girlfriend. Oh my god, the choices are falling right before my eyes! She doesn't seem to care much about exclusivity, in fact, she told me this might happen. My sisters will all- no. My sisters will all start coming after you, desperate to claim your heart. I hope that you have enough stamina to handle all of us. <laughs> if Marina's okay with this, I guess there are no reasons why I have to turn Cosmos down. Okay then, okay, well, I mean... She's a bit strange, it's true, but she's very earnest. She seems to genuinely like me. At least, though I can't fathom why. Cosmos has done a lot for me. The least I can do is give her a bit of affection in return. Alright then, Cosmos. I can be your boyfriend. For now, at least. Oh god, why you gotta say that? You really mean that? Yeah, I do. I was just thinking on the train back home, it'd be nice to go out on dates again. I'm a little rusty when it comes to the old boyfriend stick, but I'll do my best. I'll show you around Tokyo and we'll have a lot of fun together. Dating two succubi at one sounds like it'll be rough, but I think I can handle it. I want to make them both happy. And to start, I'm going to help myself to that spoonful of ice when Cosmos is holding out for me. Thanks for the food. Oh, I lean forth and clamp my lips about the metal spoon. The gooey ice cream lit already out. The gooey ice cream already melted, spreads across my tongue and slides down my throat. Timing. It's sweet and satisfying. And I shudder. <laughs> Alrighty, nice. Uh, Hiroki ate some ice cream from my spoon. That's the same spoon I was using. We just had an indirect kiss. That's okay! Personally, I think it's a bit too late to worry about such childish things. We've done more than share indirect kisses. That's right. But if Cosmos is to be believed, and I don't think she's lying to me, she's never had a relationship before. Does that mean she's a virgin? Okay then. This is the very first time she's done anything like this with a member of the opposite sex. That being the case, I want to satisfy her. As her boyfriend, her happiness is my number one priority! And first thing you can do is stop posting lewd pictures! I can't let that happen! The boyfriend, now I must take charge of the relationship. So, if I'm going to be a boyfriend, we need to lay down a few ground rules. Okay, I just want to see this. Please don't Alright everybody, but that's not time to get for this anybody. Sorry about I got to cut it off. I'm so sorry that I must cut it off. But we got so good, we got two CGs in DVD. Technically three with that uh, variant of the first one. Oh wait, 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 we're not, we are not done, we are not done, we are not done, we are not done, we are not done. No, 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 we gotta go back over here. Sorry, man. You're like, perfect from yesterday, that's it. <clears throat> Pervert? Maybe I am, but that isn't very nice. You shouldn't shout such things out in public. I'm bad with people, and even I know that much. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was so surprised, it just slipped out. You're that pervert from yesterday! Fancy seeing you here. I recognize this girl, and to be more precise, I recognize her body. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, that was that, and now I'll load it back over here. And no, I don't think you're dirty. No, uh, I guess not. Since you're an adult, you can do whatever you, what you want with your body. And we've all got to learn a living somehow. <laughs> I knew you would understand. I have a few fans. Okay, and so that was that. Alright, I think we made the right choice. I didn't save! <laughs> ah, okay. Alright, let me just fast forward. <laughs> and skip me. <laughs> and let's skip. And skip me! Oh, wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, yeah. That's okay, anyway, that's all time for this everybody, but thank you all so much for watching! I'm so sorry once again for the long, big delay on videos. Oh. Sorry, my sleeping hours have just been messed up, and I just have not been able to get any good sleep lately. But, uh, I was able to, uh, get some sleep, good sleep lately. <laughs> so, yes, everybody, we're good, we're good. Now the daily videos will continue, hopefully as long as my sleeping schedule is still good. Okay, so yes. Again, you might notice the audio is different on this video. I'm not entirely sure if I'll use the new microphone or the old microphone. Uh, my, the normal microphone, I mean, as opposed to the new microphone. It all depends on the audio and whichever one sounds best, or whatever. And yes, so, uh, yes. Uh, that's all I got to say, I guess. Uh, uh big, uh, big likes, big thank you to Mama for fixing the chair and stuff. We got a light now. It's lighting up the anime <laughs> bookcase shelf thing. Yes, indeedy. And the haircut. Indeed, now it no longer gets in my nose. And makes me itch and stuff. So that's good. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for messing up so much. 
Uh, it's been a while since I've been in the game, you know, like what, three, four days, something like that? It's been bad, but don't worry. I shall get back to it eventually. Hopefully better next time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, you might have noticed that I might appear a little bit taller now because my chair has new cushion on it, so it may be taller. Yeah, so you might see the top of my head cut off or something. I'm not entirely sure, though. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like below. And if there's any other games you like to play, if you want to talk, please comment down below as well. If you guys like this one, like this more, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be epically appreciative of you guys. And as always, my name is Cherry Boy, and my goal is to make you guys smile. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yes, sir. I know. Oh, yes. No, sorry. Been a while since I did the outro. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yeah. Bye. See ya. What's gonna happen next time? Who knows what's gonna happen? Now we are, I use, no! Sorry, now we are Cosmos' boyfriend, indeed we are, and she is our girlfriend, indeedy. And she, we gotta do something about those lewd photos, Cosmos, yes, indeedy. And no girl from the mountain will be posing lewd photos of herself. No way, we are not, I don't, <laughs> No, 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 we are, no, 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 we will not, no. This, we keep the relationship private, indeed. Relationship must be private, sacred, indeed. Yes, find out what happens next time. Find out what these ground rules are next time. On! Oh, find out how the relationship can, goes on with the Waifu Cosmos. And will we ever meet Ayu again? Who knows? Find out next time. On! Oh, Sakura Succubus! We got a Succubus girlfriend! Yeah! I guess. I guess. <laughs>